everyone welcome back i am actually in the process of doing my nails doing something kind of funky over here um and i've been actually seeing this really awesome bubble trend on instagram if you could see here you see how cool that actually looks so i was seeing this on instagram and facebook or actually no just instagram and it was just like these quick little time lapse so i wanted to check it out because i had a couple questions about you know everything that was going on uh, but essentially this technique is done by mixing water and soap and you want to get a bunch of bubbles so you want to mix and try to get those bubbles built up so you get these bubbles built up you do whatever you want to do in your nails you put on some clear coat and then before you cure the clear coat you just like put the bubbles on it and then that's it so i'm gonna show you guys how to do it now i used a no wipe top coat which is my shine on and i'm just using regular soap doesn't matter what kind all right so here's my nails what i'm gonna do actually is i'm not gonna put it all over i'm getting a little extra creative with it but i'm gonna go ahead and get my clear top coat and i'm going to cover the area that i want the little crater looking effect. And now I'm going to pick up some of these bubbles. You don't want to press them down or anything. You just want to lay the bubbles just like that and put them in the light. When I first saw this on Instagram, I ha my first question was like, okay, so you're putting the clear coat and then you're putting the bubbles. The bubbles are going to start separating the clear coat. Does that mean that the color underneath isn't going to be protected anymore? Does it really like separate all the way through? And um, I was really happy to see that that wasn't the case. Actually, if you could see on this one, you can see that it's still shiny even though the craters are there. So all of it is completely sealed in and cured. And I'm just using an alcohol wipe. And look at that. Can you guys see that? My lighting in here may not be the bomb right now. Now what I'm going to do is use my map. I didn't put a top coat on the rest of this nail, so I'm actually gonna come in here and just use my map top coat. Now I'm only going around the edges with the mat because I only wanted that effect on a certain part of the nail. I want the rest of it to look matte. Very cool. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I'm totally like obsessed with this. It looks really awesome. I actually had another idea as soon as I saw this when I tried it out. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little clip of it at the end, but all right, so let me do that one more time. So here's my nail. You put your polish, whatever it is that you want to do. I'm going to use a no wipe top coat. I'll actually try it real quick with a wipe off top coat to see if it makes any kind of difference. I just prefer using a no wipe top coat when I'm doing something like that with texture so I don't have to worry about sticky stuff getting in there and having to like get in and clean it. Um, otherwise, You'll think you wiped it all off, but it'll still be a little sticky in the crater parts and stuff will get stuck to it. All right, now this one, where do I wanna put it? I don't wanna put the crater stuff on the edge. So actually, I'm just gonna do this one in the middle. Get my bubble. 
bubbles. All right, so you get your bubbles. And you place the bubbles. And now we cure. And you cure cure it, excuse me, and you cure it for the same normal time as you would. And get a little alcohol wipe just to get rid of the bubbles and any other stickiness. Cool, this totally looks like some alien stuff or something, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Ooh, and on totally nude nails. Okay, now I'm just going crazy with ideas right now. Now I'm just going to go in with my mat. I'm using my striper brush because I don't want to make a mess of it and get it where I don't want it. I'm digging this look. Now this hand's not done yet because if you know me at all, you know that my nails aren't done without some kind of Swarovski cluster on there. So we're gonna put a cluster on this ring finger. I still have a whole other hand to do. But first, a quick little clip on a super awesome idea I had once I saw this technique and what it looked like and felt like. So check this out. Eventually. So here we have a regular moon. I'll just kind of whip this up real quick. And um, I'm going to take my no wipe top coat. I'm gonna go around the edge of the moon. As soon as I saw the way this technique looked in real person life, I knew exactly what I needed to do with it. Make a moon. All right, let's cure that. Oh yeah, that looks cool. And I'm totally going to, mm, should I mat it or make it shiny? Let's mat it. Oh yeah, that looks super cool. Now I also wanted to try this with some iridescence. So I just got, I think this one was, um, which one was this? Baby Take a Bow from OPI Sheer Collection. And I just put a little bit of this mermaid dust, unicorn dust, a little iridescent chrome powder type glitter. Ooh, more bubbles. Oh my god, it looks so cute. Can you guys see that? There you go. So there you have it, everyone. Super awesome, really fun trend, and honestly, lots of different ways you can do it. I love that it kind of like looks sparkly under the lighting almost like if there's crystals there this is super super awesome um definitely keep posted on my ig so that you can uh, get up to date with the wearability i'm looking to see whether or not this is really going to still look good after a week two weeks or for me four weeks because i don't plan on taking my manicure off for another month uh, so definitely keep posted on there. I'll show you or I'll share with you um, the wearability, whether or not it looks stingy or ugly or any different than when I just did it today. And also for snagging, if anyone out there's little uh, pet peeve is snagging on nails, this, this might snag. I guess it depends on how big the bubbles were on there when they cured because I could definitely feel a little bit more on the bigger spaces. But I'll definitely keep you guys updated on whether or not this snags. And if you have any other question regarding this trend, uh, please make sure that you send me a DM. That's the best way to reach me. Uh, the quickest way to get a response from me at least um if you're not already following me on ig no worries because the link is going to be down below and of course as always before you leave make sure you subscribe you like and you share if you haven't already we got lots more coming and um i'm hoping you guys totally enjoyed this one as much as i do now i gotta get back to doing my nails 
Uh, you can definitely catch the final product on my IG as well. But as for right now, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.